Hey guys, that monkey we're back here for another video. This will be my first auction block video of Madden 17, guys. Pretty much in this series, what I do is I just go through in these videos. They're kind of longer videos, so they're not as short as like most of my videos. But I'm just going to be, you know, chillaxing, relaxing, and picking up upgrades to upgrade my team. I'm going to be using Mutthead and EASports.com in order to find the players I want to pick up. And you guys can leave your feedback down below on who you think I should pick up. Every episode, I'm going to have a certain amount of coins so I can upgrade my team. Let's start it off right away. Here is my offense. Here is my defense. And here is my special teams. So let's get right into it. Um, you Pretty much what you're going to want to do is when you're creating a team is create a, you want a certain chemistry, as you can see on the right hand corner of your screen. As those balls fill up, you get certain upgrades. So as you can see, plus one strength, plus one awareness, uh, target offense, power one chemistry, based on whatever you get. So I really, I don't know what chemistry I want to choose. Kamal Aiken, I did complete the um, team hero set and I got him. So Kamal Aiken is a vertical threat. And, but then Gronkowski is a power one. So it's very difficult. Also, if you would go to Mutthead real fast, there you go. Um, as you can see on Mutthead, there's no, there's no filter that actually lets you choose what chemistry you want. So it's really freaking difficult. <laughs> I'm just trying to do my best here to be able to run a certain chemistry. And I'm just trying to find out what player is really good at running certain chemistry. And the certain chemistry I think I'm going to do is, uh, let's see what. We got plus one strength, plus one run block. Um, well, defense doesn't matter right now. We're going to offense, but this is plus one catching and plus one impact. Oh, pass blocking. Uh, get open quicker, find your receivers with improved catching. Um, improved catching and passing blocking attributes, vertical threat. Get down the field and make big plays. Salvation, uh, power one. M Muscle your way to get extra rushing yards. That's also good. And then based balance offense. So solidify your offensive performance with improved awareness and strength. Oh, I don't know about that then. So you can actually just choose one. Well, no, sorry, you can't. You can't like choose one. It's just you have all these in the right hand corner, and you're able, or the right hand side of the screen, and you're able to see how close you are to getting that whatever the boost is. So. Um, let's go on defense real fast. What defense are there? Base power or pass defense lock down the pass with almost with a boost to man and zone coverage. Use this, um, use this to regain awareness to help you get around the defenders. Um, oh, this is offense. So there's only two defense. That's kind of weird. So there's pass defense and there's balance defense. So I guess this is balanced with the one and pass. And this is just, you know, based on the passing game. So we're going to go with base pass defense on defense. And um, I'm actually going to be making a... Either it's going to come out before this video or it's going to come out after this video. I'm going to be making a auction, not auction block, a cheap gold series. Where I look at the best budget squad players when it comes to um, defense. So, also when it comes to, um, you know, just the golds that are really cheap and are really good, or bronzes and silvers, that are really good for you guys to have, and they don't cost much. So, let's go and look at man coverage players, and let's see how good the man coverage players are. Because this year, it's all about man coverage. Man coverage is OP this year. Oh, Jason Brett's really good, but he's so freaking much coins. Um... Did hear Ronald Dolby was pretty OP. So let's go pick up Ronald Dolby and add him to the squad. It says he goes for 5k right here. So hopefully he, we can find him for less than that. That is the goal. Obviously, with a lot of people knowing that OP, uh, um, man coverage is OP this year, that might not work out. Let's see. Um... 4,800. All right, we'll go with him. All right, our first pickup, cornerback. And he is man coverage. What? I thought there was only... Okay, I'm, I'm so confused about this chemistry stuff, guys. 
I might not even worry about man oh, about chemistry yet and just worry about picking up players because I don't understand it fully. If you guys can explain it down below, hopefully you guys can explain it to me because I'm not really understanding this all together. Alright, so I'm looking for speed and man coverage. You're going to want some good speed, but you're also going to want some good man coverage. Alright, looks like our next guy might actually be the move, and it might be Bradley Roby, and he might be the starter, depending on... Oh, I like how he, he definitely looks nice. And he's very balanced. Ah, 7,500. Ah, he's supposed to go for 4,500. Let's see what the he compares to with the other guys. Okay. Problem with these guys is they're so slow. He's pretty nice when it comes to speed. He just has no man of zone. And 84 for that price. For 84, that's really bad. Um... Yeah, we're going to pass on him. I think we go with Sam Shields. I had him before, and, you know, I just wanted to see how he played. And he played pretty good, but 6K? Ooh, okay, never mind. I'm not trying to get cheap, guys. I'm just trying to make a lot of different moves in this video, so. Um, Ramsey, I'm guessing, is going to be a lot of coins. Yeah, he's 6K, too. Um... 90 speed. Alright. So let's put in our first player. Put him in. Because I want to see kind of how this works with it on the right hand side or left hand side. Right hand side, my bad. Alright, so. Man coverage. Does it give me some kind of boost or something? Let's see. Hmm. Let's go to active lineup. No, wait. How do I base offensive lineup? Okay. So this is man coverage. I put him there. Of course, he doesn't have any kind of, you know, scheme or whatever. Now, can I sort... My question is, can I sort these... Um. And I sort this by a certain... Yeah, I can. I can sort it by a certain chemistry. Okay, well, that's actually a lot help, more helpful. Okay, I see. Marcus Peters. 86 speed, though. That, I just bought him, right? No, I didn't. I bought Ronald Darby. You gotta be careful, guys, that even if you have, let's say, a gold, let's say, an elite Safan Gilmore. If you buy a gold Safan Gilmore, that will actually cost, that will actually count as another Safan Gilmore. It will count as the same Safan Gilmore, and you won't be able to run both of them. So be very careful with that. I think I might just buy, I mean, Ramsey. It's pretty quick. Nah, he's a move, guys. He's a move. He's also my um, chemistry with being uh, man coverage. With this year, guys, it actually does matter. Chemistry is actually a factor this year, surprisingly. Uh, is Peters? Oh, Peters is way too slow. Um, let's go on to... I don't think... Actually, then how's that going to work? So, I guess you're, you can have corners all be the same chemistry. Linebackers all the, all the same chemistry. And defensive line are all the same chemistry. Are safeties like that? Are safeties a certain chemistry? Yeah, safeties all too. Let's see. I know I'm kind of messing up. I shouldn't be make putting it at that. Um, what's it called? I shouldn't be putting it at 80 to 84 because I could just get them cheaper down here. But, eh. Let's see, um, but here's an example, guys, how these videos are going to be longer. These videos are not very short videos. Um, let's go with, I'm, I think I'm going to go with him, Taiwan Branch. And my whole point, I'm just trying to, wait, he's not a chief anymore? My man's wearing a chief uniform. Is he a raider? No, he's not. What uniform is that? I thought that was the chiefs. Yeah, that's the white uniforms. 
Oh, he's a cardinal. Okay. Um, but yeah, so I'm pretty much going to be like, you know, just orchestrating together my team and everything like that about, you know, just slowly putting them together. So might not use Mutt Head and just use this because it seems to be easier. Let's go to free safeties. See who we got up here. Um, and again, guys, at any time, if you want to, just go down in the comment section down below and give your feedback on a player you think I should pick up. Of course, I will be doing the best um, budget players, but I do want you guys to give your feedback as much as possible. 84. Well, I do love Ha Ha Corn DZ, but he's kind of too slow. Eh. He's one of my favorite players. <laughs> well, favorite players when it comes to safeties. Of course, you guys know my favorite player at strong safety, Cam Chancellor. All right, so now that we have those positions rocked out, I know we don't have a third corner or fourth, but let's go to what I said, linebacker. I think what I'm going to run for that is going to be a 3-4 scheme. 3-4-4-3. Three, four, four, three. What do I want to run? I think 3 I used to like to run a 3-4. Um, of course, when it comes to 3-4, all that matters when it comes to your defense alignment is strength and block shed. That stuff, you know, speed only matters when you run a 4-3. Linebackers have to be fast, and they also have to be good at covering. So, because you have four linebackers out there in the, like, backfield. Not the back, like, not the line, but, you know, in the back covering people. So, I'm going to want some good speed. Um, I'm also really good at user rings, so I'm going to want a good user li mill linebacker. Okay, wow. Not going to make it that, like, you know, quality. Okay, so there's no 3-4 mill linebackers. Okay. That's good enough. 81 speed. Um, Nick Perry, how good are you? 84, 85 block shot. That's not bad with the... You do want them to have pretty good block shed. 84 speed is pretty nice, too. Um, I might have to run a, like a 3-4-4-3 three, three scheme. Kind of like a hybrid defense. If I can't get the correct players. I do love Elvis Duneville, but he's too slow. He's way too slow. Although I could put some of these guys as ends, but it just doesn't work out as you, know, as you would like. I think I'm going to go with Bruce Irvin right here. Definitely think that's a move. Start off. Um, right outside linebacker. Aaron Lynch. Yeah, I'll go with him. He has 81 speed. He has some pretty nice speed. Now, for middle, I think I'm going to have to, you know, be kind of forced to get out of a 3-4 scheme to get a middle linebacker. Because I'm not going to be going with, what's his name? With that legend guy. Unless, how fast is he? 76 speed now. I might be getting out of this 4-3 scheme to get uh, a middle linebacker. Wait, what? There's no nightmare of 4-3? Um, third man coverage? Oh, there is. Okay. But there's not a man coverage that's a linebacker, right? <laughs> I didn't mess up there. Um... 80, oh, he's good. What's the cheapest elite? 36k, okay. Not going with him. <laughs> That's not the move. Jarrell Freeman, 79 speed, not that great. I know he's slow as molasses, yeah. Ray Mugla, or Mugla, whatever you call it. Um, he's pretty good, but... Not the move. I think Dion Buchanan might be the move. Yeah, I think Dion's the move. Um, and then I think Ray or Mugaluga or whatever. It's going to be the backup. Actually, nah, nah. We'll worry about that another day. So I think, other than defense alignment, we should be in a good system right now. Uh, let's go to 3-4. Okay, Blockchain is pretty nice. Leonard Williams is always a GOAT. Yeah, he's always a GOAT. 
And 3-4 is awesome because you don't have to worry about speed. All you have to worry about is the effects of pass rushing ability. And that's all you gotta worry about with 3-4. Um, 88, what are you? 84, alright, we'll go with William Hayes. Willie Hayes! Alright. Again, guys, whenever you want to, if you guys do feel the passion to, definitely comment down below and give your feedback on a player you think I should pick up. Because this series is, I'm going to try to make it as interactive with you guys as possible. He has 90 blocks yet, okay. That's actually really, oh. Going with Brandon Williams. Alright, so let's put together our defense real fast and see how it looks. So we have, I think, Jalen Ramsey, I believe. Yeah, Ramsey right here. Going over to the right, we have Ronald Darby. Uh, that makes the third corner be Marcus Peters. Don't know how it is. If it's like last year, then the third corner doesn't matter. Third and fourth, only the first two would actually matter to the chemistry. I don't know if they're going to do it this year like they did it last year, but we'll see. Um, Han Clinton DZ is right there. Strong safety is going to be Tyron Branch. Left us that linebacker. Um, I wish I could use him, but he's just he doesn't have many contracts. Also, you know, it's limited card only. I want this to be my actual team. Uh, right outside linebacker is going to be Aaron Lynch. Middle. Oh, yeah, that's actually a good thing. I didn't buy two middle linebackers. I have Luke Keekley too. And I can utilize him because his speed is only 78. But it's still enough to get me around the field. Right, uh, right end is going to be Leonard Williams. I'll worry about backups in a bit. Left end is going to be William Hayes. First D tackle, which when a 3-4 scheme, your second D tackle does come in to replace your first D tackle. But he only does that when he's tired and I think Brandon should be fine. And when he comes in, he'll just be like a meat shield, I guess you could say. I will take him out. So this is what my... Oh, crap. I didn't mean to do that. Um... This is what my defense looks like so far. I really like it. I actually think it looks pretty nice. So we have 3-4. Well, yeah, he's in there. But we have 3-4 pretty much. 3-4 uh, man coverage. Man coverage. And I think that's pretty much looking nice. So let's go on to the offense. Um, Let's go with offensive line. Balanced. Ugh. I don't know what to choose with this. I want to keep Cam though. I think I, I think that's guaranteed. I want to keep Cam. I really do like. I like Cam's speed ability, and that's what really makes me want to keep him on my team. Um, quarterback. Unless there's a really good quarterback, but I think I might go vertical threat. As you can see, there's a lot of different chemistries, guys. But I might want to go th the vertical threat. That might be the move. Because if I can make moves down the field very quickly, that's going to be hard to stop. And annoying to stop. Do I go Joe Flacco, though? He's too slow, though. He's way too slow. Actually, what's the mobile or... West Coast scheme is always mobile quarterbacks. What? How is... Go Rivers in the West Coast. Usually West Coast is quicker quarterbacks that are able to, like a Kaepernick scheme. You know how Kaepernick runs. He just kind of like a one first offense. I guess, yeah, he doesn't run too much. I mean, he kind of runs because he has the ability, but... Um... What's a vertical... Okay, vertical scheme again. He has Joe Flacco. Uh... Oh no, Stafford has a big arm, of course. 99? Nope, not 99 throw power. Surprising. Usually Stafford has like the best throw power. Um, He probably has the biggest arm in the NFL, to be honest. Okay. Looks like... Honestly, 80, 82 speed, I think, is like the max 
um, when it comes to throw uh, speed for quarterbacks. So let's see what's Houston's defense looks like. Uh, why am I clicking on Houston defense and have a quarterback? This is my problem. Dallas is offense. Is this okay? I guess I can't see anything. There's no players up, but uh, da, 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 um, hmm. I don't know what to run, guys. This is the issue. Um, base rush offense. You know what? Let's go vertical. Whatever. Let's go vertical. Uh, yeah. Let's go with Joe. We're gonna go Joe Flacco, and we're gonna go vertical, guys. Again, I don't know how long this video is gonna be, but it might be a really long time. So, sorry if you guys don't like that long videos. Uh, halfbacks. It looks like you can't go vertical for halfbacks. So. Based, uh, let's go back to my head and let's look at some speed. All you need is speed, guys, because no matter who it is, every single player is going to fumble the ball when it comes to halfbacks. You could have 92 AP out there and he'll fumble the ball. So don't worry about speed when it comes to halfbacks. Of course, Dre Archer is going to be number one, AP is going to be number three. Tevin Coleman, nah, he's, he's quick, that's good, but he's he's gonna not that great. Um, oh my god. Devontae Freeman is like freaking 84k. I mean 18k. Um, of course I could do the David Johnson set, but that would cost me about 25k to do. Um, I think the move is gonna be this guy. See how much he goes for. Oh, you can't. Oh, okay. Yeah, this year, guys, you can't buy Dre Archer this year like you could in previous years. You also can't buy Coy Grant, who's like a goon at speed. So, um, looks like the, you know, the guy we're going to have to go with just because of price-wise and the fact that he shouldn't be, he should be pretty good. Um, of course, David Johnson costs a lot, but that's just obvious. Why is a rookie premier player in this year? It's, it's weird. Um, let's go with, I think, Lance Dunbar. Lance Dunbar, whatever his name is. What is McFadden's speed? 89. Um, yeah, we'll go with Lance. We'll go with uh, Lance Dunbar. I call it McFadden Lance Dunbar. I, I don't. Don't don't question me, guys. Don't question me. I don't know what I'm doing sometimes. I'll be calling players other names and yeah. Wait, was that not McFadden? I gotta type this in. I, I feel like I just saw McFadden. Ah, I guess not. Okay, well, let's go to wide receivers now because this can have vertical threats. These will have vertical threats. We do have Kamal Aiken to lead the charge, but I would like to have some more guys other than that. Um, let's see. I would like to have. Is he a free agent? Oh, he's still a Buccaneer. I know he's still a Buccaneer. Um, let's go with speed, and I would like to go with wide receivers and see who we can get. Because there's a lot of bronze cards that are gonna be really, very fast. Oh, very, very fast. Um. Stephon Diggs. Oh, Stephon Diggs is 89 speed. Dang. Um, Deshaun Jackson is a vertical threat. Obviously, but he's... Oh, crap. They said he has 4,200. He's up for 5,200. And that one just got bought. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm probably not going to go with him. Actually, what really matters this year is it's not even speed. It's just catching. You guys are going to drop it, like, pretty much unless they have okay catching. If they don't have great catching, they're going to drop it pretty fast. Oh, of course, he's going to go for a lot. Pretty much anybody that is 
has good catching and okay to, you know, maybe five or six notches when it comes to speed, it's going to be a lot of coins. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much how that works. Um, eh, let's refresh it one more time. We'll go with Deshaun. Um, right, let's go to offense alignment now. We have a quarterback. We have a running back. We have uh, what position is that? We have two wide receivers. Go offense alignment. Oh, there's actually a vertical threat offense alignment. Cool. All right, let's go with uh, let's see this. 85 run block, 80 pass block. What are you? 85. Uh, okay. Obviously, we're not going to be getting the whole shebanger here, guys. So. I'm not looking for, you know, drop dead gorgeous um, players here. Obviously, I assume most of these players are not going to have good stats. Or not really that great stats. Like, um, what are you? Okay. I think we're going to go with you. You have decent uh, pass block, some good run block, and some good other stuff. So, there we go. Let's go with now left guard. And the whole point of this year, as you can see in this video, is just create your team based around a the chemistry. There's no left guards that are vertical threats. Good to know. Let's just go on to the next position and see if there's any centers that vertical threats. Nope. Is it just tackles? Is that... I'm still learning everything, guys, so bear with me if you guys know something I don't know and you're screaming at me in the comment section or something. I might not know everything you guys know about this game yet. Even though I am a YouTuber, I don't. I'm not like money when it comes to everything. Um, okay, then let's go to... If there's no vertical threat players there, we'll go with the rest of my linemen being... Uh, let's see. Guess base rush or so... What's the point of these? I'm trying to figure this out. So this is base rush. Base pass. There's no base pass, guys. Okay. Base balanced. So it looks like whatever the higher overalls are is what going to be. So let's see. Let's go to all. And let's see. Also, guys, I'm going to be doing a um, how to make coins video later today. So definitely stay tuned for that. But so it looks like a lot of these guys rush offense. What's that? Down here? Maybe. Maybe not. I guess not. Alright, so... Oh, here we go. Wait. What's the rush offense? That's rush, base rush defense. Is this it? Base rush offense? Why aren't these players showing up then? Hmm. Alright, I like him. Bring him to the squad. <laughs> I like you. You're adding to the squad. Alright, let's go to center. And again, I think what I'm going to do is just, you know, the rest of it is just going to be base run offense. And I want to kind of mix it up with some guys have good pass block, some guys have good run block. And just mix it up like that, you know, to keep somewhat the ability of maybe if everyone has good of something. He's going to get bought. I'm not going to, I'm not using that guy. I just bought him because he's so cheap and I could put him back up for like 2000 coins. As you can see, he'll probably sell within the hour. So it's a good way to make coins guys. Just quick, you know, buying cards, putting them back up for, for uh, cheaper than what other people have them for, but you still make a profit. 
All right, right tackle. Not you. Right tackle. Derek Newton. Right, I'll go with you. All right. So, our team is coming quite together. And let's actually see that theory. Let's see if I... So, as you guys saw, I bought him for 950 coins. Let's see if I can put him back up and he'll sell within this video. What is it? This guy? Yeah, Wendell. Yeah, what's his impact block? 92. He always has great impact block. All right, let's go to 1800. There we go. He should be uh, pretty sell pretty soon because Malcolm Butler is a set he goes into. And Butler is... Uh, a lot of people think he's a good corner. Um, let's go vertical threat here. Let's go with. Remember, guys, I bought him for 950 coins. So if he sells, I'll probably get around four, what 14, 1500 coins. Is that him? Let's see. And right there, that's uh 700 coins I made. See, guys, it's not that hard to make coins, honestly. 700 coins I made right in front of you guys and all you gotta do is go to the auction block search up You know gold players buy them for 900 coins and sell them for what? 1600 coins I might actually use this clip bit in my um, how to make coins video Because that's actually a good um, example. I didn't get a tight another tight end, but whatever Balanced. There we go. Let's put the Sean in here. There we go. And our team is pretty much looking pretty decent, I gotta say. It's coming together pretty well. Put him here. I don't really understand how all this stuff goes together. I guess it. I guess that means I have to have one more person with vertical, in order to get that scheme to go. You guys can explain it down below if you guys do know more than I do about this. You probably do, honestly. So it says, usually it says. I thought it said that when it's the person's out of position, but I guess not. Um, again, you guys can help explain this. It says man coverage. So what if I get another man coverage guy and put him there? Let's get another man coverage corner and see what happens. I want to see how this works out. Okay, so we're going to go with corner. We're going to go with man coverage. Because that's the scheme we're running. Scheme over team, guys. Scheme over team. Um, we're gonna go with 88 speed. What are you? Okay. You have better speed. Alright, so it's by you. And we're gonna just see how this all works out. Do it by one more corner. Just because of the fact that. Do we have you, Tremaine Johnson? Wait, no, you're 84 speed, right? Yeah. Um. Give you a rose. I know I do not have you. Your man's not that good though. But you all in the scheme or the chemistry, whatever. Let's go back. Go back. And I am playing this game on Xbox One S. I don't think you guys can tell any difference. So <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know why I brought that up. But just if you guys are all wondering, this is a Xbox One S that you are watching a gameplay on. Doesn't really matter though. <laughs> It's nothing different when it comes to gameplay, guys. It all matters when you have a 4K TV or not. So if you guys don't have a 4K TV, I guess don't buy it. But Scorpio isn't going to be anything special right now. Um, I think that's pretty much it. And, oh, here we go. So as you can see, we have a man coverage scheme tier 1. It prevents your opponent... Oh, yeah, it prevents your opponents from getting open. Um... We get a plus five chemistry. So we get, I guess we get plus one tackle, plus one jumping, plus one man coverage. And if we get to the next tier, I guess we get plus two of everything. I guess all the way up to maybe like plus five. 
That's pretty nice. So, that means we're tier one on that. Vertical, I guess we need one more vertical player in order to get this. Can we, what other vertical, can we get a vertical tight end? We're gonna put Gronk as number two. I don't want to get a base boost and as you guys can see this actually does work like when you actually um playing game i think there's a little you can actually check the stats and it will show you that there's a boost um but yeah i don't really know how this works i'm kind of learning as you guys learn so if you guys don't know anything about it either don't worry we're learning together all right, let's get Jordan Cameron because he's pretty quick. And let me put him in here. Let's see. This video is probably freaking long as heck. All right, so, yeah, so now we're vertical plus one. So we have plus one of all those attributes. So let's put Gronk back as number two. And I'm guessing... I'm just like this all speculation guys, but I'm taking a guess here that that means if I go to these players, do I see an actual boost? So that means Joe gets a one acceleration boost. Can I see that acceleration boost in the card or do I have to go into the game and see it? I guess I gotta go in game to see it. Cause what's his, wait, wait, hang on. So this is what it says right now. I get plus one of all those things. Yeah, but do I... Oh, here we go. See, look, acceleration is a plus one. He normally has 79. So it actually does It actually does count, guys. It actually shows you this. So last year, the problem was like, you know, it wouldn't actually like... Like, you could get a signature card and it would say plus whatever to the ability, but it wouldn't actually show it. This year, it actually shows it in the actual game. So... Pretty cool, especially when you, if you can get up to plus five of like this attribute, or like let's say plus five man coverage. R Ramsey has an 89 zone uh, man coverage in this game now, so it's pretty cool and pretty unique. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Obviously, with a lot of people knowing that OP that, um, man coverage is OP this year, that might not work out. Let's see. Um, 4,800. All right, we'll go with him. All right, our first pickup, cornerback. And he is man coverage. What? I thought there was only... Okay, I'm, I'm so confused about this chemistry stuff, guys. I might not even worry about man... Oh, about chemistry yet and just worry about picking up players because I don't understand it fully. If you guys can explain it down below... Hopefully you guys can explain it to me because I'm not really understanding this all together. All right, so I'm looking for speed and man coverage. Okay, you're gonna want some good speed, but you're also gonna want some good man coverage. All right, looks like our next guy might actually be the move and it might be Bradley Roby and he might be the starter, depending on how I like how he, he definitely looks nice. And he's very balanced. Ah, 7,500. Ah, he's supposed to go for 4,500. Let's see what the he compares to with the other guys. Okay. Problem with these guys is they're so slow. He's pretty nice when it comes to speed. He just has no mana zone. And 84 for that price, for 84, that's really bad. Um... Yeah, we're going to pass on him. I think we go with Sam Shields. I had him before, and, you know, I just wanted to see how he played. And he played pretty good, but 6K? Ooh, okay, never mind. I'm not trying to get cheap, guys. I'm just trying to make a lot of different moves in this video, so. Um, Ramsey, I'm guessing, is going to be a lot of coins. Yeah, he's 6K, too. Um... 90 speed. Alright. So let's put in our first player. Put him in. 
because I want to see kind of how this works with it on the right hand side or left hand side, right hand side, my bad. All right, so man coverage. Does it give me some kind of boost or something? Let's see. Hmm. Let's go to active lineup. No, wait. How do I base offensive lineup? Okay. So this is man coverage. I put him there. Of course, he doesn't have any kind of, you know, scheme or whatever. Now, can I sort? My question is, can I sort these? Um, can I sort this by a certain? Yeah, I can. I can sort it by a certain chemistry. Okay, well, that's actually a lot help, more helpful. Okay, I see. Marcus Peters, 86 speed though. That, I just bought him, right? No, I didn't. I bought Ronald Darby. Gotta be careful, guys, that even if you have, let's say, a gold, let's say, uh, elite Safan Gilmore. If you buy a gold Safan Gilmore, that will actually cost, that will actually count as another Stefan Gilmore. It will count as the same Stefan Gilmore and you won't be able to run both of them. So be very careful with that. I think I might just buy, Dar I mean, Ramsey. It's pretty quick. Alright, he's a move, guys. He's a move. He's also my um, chemistry with being uh, man coverage. With this year, guys, it actually does matter. Chemistry is actually a factor this year, surprisingly. Uh, is Peters... Oh, Peters is way too slow. Um, let's go on to... I don't think... Actually, then how's that going to work? So, I guess you're, you can have corners all be the same chemistry. Linebackers all the, all the same chemistry. And defensive line all the same chemistry. Are safeties like that? Are safeties a certain chemistry? Yeah, safety's all too. Let's see. I know I'm kind of messing up. I shouldn't be make putting it at that. Um, what's it called? I shouldn't be putting it at 80 to 84 because I could just get them cheaper down here. But eh. let's see. Um, but here's an example, guys. How these videos are going to be longer. These videos are not very short videos. Um, let's go with, I'm, I am think I'm going to go with him, Taiwan Branch. And my whole point, I'm just trying to, wait, he's not a chief anymore? My man's wearing a chief uniform. Is he a raider? No, he's not. What uniform is that? I thought that was the chiefs. Yeah, that's the white uniforms. Oh, he's a cardinal. Okay. Um... But yeah, so I'm pretty much going to be like, you know, just orchestrating together my team and everything like that about, you know, just slowly putting them together. So, might not use Mutthead and just use this because it seems to be easier. Let's go to free safeties. See who we got up here. Um, and again, guys, at any time, if you want to, just go down in the comment section down below and give your feedback on a player you think I should pick up. Of course, I will be doing the best um, budget players. But I do want you guys to give your feedback as much as possible. 84. Well, I do love Ha Ha Corn DZ. But he's kind of too slow. Eh. He's one of my favorite players. <laughs> well, favorite players when it comes to safeties. Of course, you guys know my favorite player at Strong Safety, Cam Chancellor. Alright, so now that we have those positions rocked out, I know we don't have a third corner or fourth, but let's go to what I... Hey guys, that Mike Gamer back here for another video. This be my first auction block video of Madden 17, guys. Pretty much in this series, what I do is I just go through in these videos. They're kind of longer videos, so they're not as short as like most of my videos. But I'm just going to be, you know, chillaxing, relaxing, and picking up upgrades to upgrade my team. I'm going to be using Mutthead and EASports.com in order to find the players I want to pick up. And you guys can leave your feedback down below on who you think I should pick up. 
every episode I'm going to have a certain amount of coins so I can upgrade my team. Let's start it off right away. Here is my offense. Here is my defense. And here is my special teams. So let's get right into it. Um, you pretty much what you're going to want to do is when you're creating a team is create a, you want a certain chemistry as you can see on the right hand corner of your screen. As those balls fill up you get certain upgrades. So as you can see plus one strength, plus one awareness, uh, target offense, power one chemistry based on whatever you get. So I really, I don't know what chemistry I want to choose. Kamal Aiken, I did complete the um, team hero set and I got him. So Kamal Aiken is a vertical threat. And, but then Gronkowski is a power run. So it's very difficult. Also, if you would go to Mutt Head real fast, there you go. Um, as you can see on Mutt Head, there's no, there's no filter that actually lets you choose what chemistry you run. So it's really freaking difficult. <laughs> I'm just trying to do my best here to be able to run a certain chemistry. And I'm just trying to find out what player is really good at running certain chemistry and the certain chemistry I think I'm going to do is uh let's see what we got plus one strength plus one run block um well defense doesn't matter right now we're looking at offense but this is plus one catching and plus one impact oh pass blocking uh get open quicker find your receivers with improved catching um Improve catching and passing, blocking, attributes, vertical threat, get down the field and make big plays. Salvation. Uh, power run. M muscle your way to get extra rushing yards. That's also good. And then based balance offense. So solidify your offensive performance with improved awareness and strength. Oh, I don't know about that then. So you can actually just choose one. Well, no, sorry, you can't, you can't, like, choose one. It's just, you have all these in the right-hand corner, and you're able, or the right-hand side of the screen, and you're able to see how close you are to getting that, whatever the boost is. So, um, let's go on defense real fast. What defense are there? Base, power, or pass, defense, lock down the pass with almost, with a boost to man and zone coverage. Use this. Um, use this to regain awareness to help you get around the defenders. Um, oh, this is offense. So there's only two defense. That's kind of weird. So there's pass defense and there's balance defense. So I guess this is balance with the run and pass. And this is just, you know, based on the passing game. So we're going to go with base pass defense on defense. And um, I'm actually going to be making a... Either it's going to come out before this video or it's going to come out after this video. I'm going to be making a auction, not auction block, a cheap gold series where I look at the best budget squad players when it comes to um, defense. So also when it comes to, um, you know, just the golds that are really cheap and are really good or bronzes and silvers that are really good for you guys to have and they don't cost much. So let's go and look at man coverage players. And let's see how good the man coverage players are. Because this year, it's all about man coverage. Man coverage is OP this year. Oh, Jason Brett's really good. But he's so freaking much coins. Um, did hear Ronald Darby was pretty OP. So, let's go pick up Ronald Darby. And add him to the squad. It says he goes for 5k right here. So, hopefully he, we can find him for less than that. That is the goal. 